Hello and welcome to this week's Trader of the Week. And uh, let's begin by having a look at what we did at the end of October. My colleague uh, Sean Morrison went long the Nasdaq 100. And as you can see here, that was an extremely profitable trade. Um, I would urge you to just let it run if you're still long. Uh, if you want to cash it in now, that's also a, a very, very nice profit. And then what I did a week after that, I uh, went long the DAX 40 contract here. Uh, on Monday the 6th of November. That also is a lovely trade which made lots of money here. Uh, again, I would let it run. If you're inclined to take some profits, you can do so now. Um, again, a very nice profit that worked out on this one. Um, moving on to last week, the trade of the week, uh, which was to go short the um, uh, Arabica coffee uh, futures. And unfortunately, this one didn't work out uh, because basically we had some negative divergence. You can see the uh, relative strength index made a lower high, whereas the price made a higher high. And we went short at um, 17,000 with a stop loss very tightly above the previous high. But we got stopped out here on Wednesday. So we had a small loss on that trade. Now, if you didn't stop yourself out, you may still want to keep in that trade because basically the technical signs are still the same. You still have negative divergence on this chart. And we've now also fallen through not just the red line here, the 200 day simple moving average, and the 10th of November, or 13th of November lows, but also below the uh, October to November downtrend line. So potentially a stop may still, a, a top may still be forming here with regards to Arabica coffee futures. Let's look at this week's uh, trade of the week. And uh, what I would like to do is to go short soybean futures and do so on a minor bounce back towards um, 1,367. Uh, for several reasons, I believe that a top is in place here. We've got some negative divergence on the uh, oscillator. We've now uh, basically once again failed around this 14,000, uh, 1,400 um, resistance area where we also failed back in July and August of this year and we are trading below the 200 day simple moving average and have fallen out of this upward trading channel all of which leads me to believe that a top might be in the process of being formed. So this week's uh, trade of the week is to go short soybeans on 1, 000, at 1,367 with a stop loss uh, above 1,437 and a downside target around 1,267. <music>